Hello, so welcome to another reading vlog. Today is the first day of September, so that means I can start my readathons. As well as my own TBR machine picks, I'm doing Becca's Bookopoly and the Magical Readathon, and I think I've got about 10 books to read for that. So I've kind of tried to divide them up by weeks, although the the month is starting on a Wednesday, so I think my plans were on already. My planning for these readathons has been somewhat messy. Uh, Bookopoly was just a complete bitch to me. Uh, Magical readathon, I kind of rushed, and I wish that I had more energy and more time to like create a whole character and like dress up. But at the moment, with lockdown and work being what they are, that's not going to happen. But I am going to try and read a lot. Um, I am so disorganized that my books are over there, so I'm just going to go get them. So this week is going to be my Massive Fantasy Week. One of the books on my TBR is this one. It's Massive. I'm not going to read the whole of this, but what I thought is this does have parts, and the first couple of parts are relatively short. There's actually four parts, so that could be one part a week. However, the last part is like half the book. Still, I might kind of do that. So for this week... I'm just going to try and read part one of this, which is this much, 145 pages. I know that these are really slow for me to read because not only is it massive in terms of height, the, the writing is just quite dense and they're slow reads, but I do really like it. It's like an epic fantasy, kind of everyone fighting over the throne um, and some younger people learning about their different magical abilities, some very, I guess, corrupt, dark magician type people. We've got these dragon people. I say they're dragon people. They're kind of more stone people. There's also people with mechanical wings. There's a lot going on and I've kind of forgotten, but I know that once I get back into it, I'll remember and I'll be able to tell you what's happening with that. I also have these two fantasies, but I don't have to read all of these either. Um, so firstly, I've got Wizard of the Grove by Tanya Huff. This is a bind up of two books, um, Child of the Grove and The Last Wizard. I read Child of the Grove last week. So this week I've just got to read The Last Wizard, which is about 300 pages. It's not that long. And I did really like the first book. The writing style was a bit weird, but the story was cool. So we'll see how we go with the second half. Part of my problem in the first book was that we weren't following the main character for the first half of the book. But this time we already know the main character, so we should be straight in there with her. So it's this young girl and she is the last wizard. In a world where all the previous wizards were kind of evil jerks who've ruined everything. So we will see what her journey is like now that she's kind of saved the world. And the other book I have is The Glass Dragon. Again, this is like a bind up of three books. So I only have to read the first part, which is like this long, 318. So about 300 pages there as well. Is this doable? I'm not sure, but I don't even know anything about this series, except that I'm assuming there's some kind of dragon involved. Um, and Irene Radford was an author I wanted to read for a long time, but I've forgotten why now. Also, this is published by Door, and like in my teens, early 20s, I've read a lot of stuff from Door and really loved it. So this is Door as well. So that's how I used to pick my books. I think it often works well picking by publisher. Uh, the other big fantasy that I'm going to try and read this week is, I always forget what it's called, Republic of Thieves um, by Scott Lynch. So that's the third book in the Gentleman Bastards series, which is all about this guy named Locke Lamora and his gang of thieves. And they are going around doing different heists and getting themselves in trouble with important and powerful people. So at the start of this third book, I don't know what I can say without spoiling it, but Locke and John are in a very difficult situation. And we're also alternating between them as grown-ups dealing with this grown-up situation as well as when they were very young, Locke is first learning to be a thief and he's also meeting the love of his life, Sabatha. And I'm assuming that this book we're going to meet Sabatha as an adult, which I'm super excited about as well. In fact, right now I'm going to go for a walk and listen to some more of the audiobook of, why can I never remember the name, Republic of Thieves. Now I'm not sure how much actual physical reading I'll get done tonight because I, uh, my computer died, my laptop died, but I have figured out how I can edit my videos on my iPad, but I have to re-edit a video I already edited and I want to get it up by tomorrow. <sighs> So I've got a lot of work to do for that, so I might not have much time for reading tonight. And I still need to think about some work things to prepare for tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to go and do that, and then I will check in with you guys later. Hello. 
Hello, I promise you that I have moved from the spot on the couch in the last 24 hours. I did a whole bunch of work, but it's the end of the workday, so I'm back on the couch. <sighs> Thank goodness. Uh, last night, I didn't do my video editing like I was supposed to, so now I have to do it again tonight, but I finished work, so we should be okay. Um, as well, I only managed to read like a couple of chapters of this. However, I did enjoy those couple of chapters. I think the world is going to be really cool. Uh, and there was actually a little introduction from the author at the beginning, which talked about how the idea for the series, which apparently is more than three books, which are in this um, bind up. Apparently she's been like 10 books in this world, but it all came from like her son commenting on this little glass dragon that she'd gotten and saying that maybe dragons as they grew older turned more glass-like and so you could tell a dragon's age by how much they were made of glass and so she's built this whole world around these dragons that start out kind of like made of metal or stone but they slowly turn to glass and become invisible and they can like give people visions and dreams and they also provide people with magic but only men because only men can have magic and only if they stay celibate apparently. Also the royal line has like this magical connection with the dragons and because the dragons have been disappearing the king is really sick and as well the prince has been kidnapped so they're trying to track him down. I'm just really liking the character building and the world building and so I have a lot of hope for this. So I really want to try and read some more of it tonight as well as everything else I want to try and do. Uh, as well, right now I'm going to go for an afternoon walk. I'm trying to get in the habit of going during lockdown, going for an after work walk. Um, and I'm quite enjoying it. I think it's good to get your brain out of that work mode and into evening mode. Although maybe that's why I wasn't productive last night. Anyway, I'm going to go for a walk and... I've been thinking about the magical readathon and the fact that the character I want to create doesn't entirely fit with some of the world building that G has provided. So I'm gonna like sneak around it. I wanna be half cat, half human. So I've decided that my character, me, I have the ability in this magical world to like slip between worlds. So I'm not a native of this magical world that G has created. I'm not sure where I come from, but I'm part cat, part girl, and when I slip between worlds, uh, that changes the form I present in. So here, stupid earth, I'm just a boring human. However, when I am in this magical readathon world, what is it called? A, a later? <sighs> I really still haven't read any of that properly. I'm so bad. Anyway, when I go to that magical world, I'm like this catling, which isn't entirely a native species, but I'm very similar to the earthlings. Um, I think I'm going to be an elemental or have elemental magic, but I don't like any of the main elements. So I'm going to be like a dark elemental. Maybe I think they're meant to have spots, the earthlings, that match the color of the element. So I guess I'll have like dark blue spots. Um, I really, I have this image in my head and I probably need to try and find someone with artistic skills to draw it for me. But anyway, I've decided that since the first prompt is actually this book for the Magical Readathon, so it's read a book with a map in it. Here's the map. But also it's the novice path. What is it? Hang on, let me check my thinking. Okay. Also, it's the novice path entrance. So I've decided for me to move between worlds, I need to find a gateway. And it's like a combination of finding the right gate as well as having the right intention that will get you to the right world. So I'm limited at the moment in terms of where I can go because it's locked down. But I think I know somewhere within walking distance where I can find a gate type place that I think has a map right next to it. And I think that might be the right way for me to get into this world. So I'm going to go there just for fun. I need somewhere to walk to, so why not? And then once I'm into the world, I can keep reading this. We're chasing one another, getting lost in another summer. And all my friends I'm reminded of the pain When I'm on the interstate Me and the moon And we think of you Remember when we sat out in the football field Watched the sunset and succumb to all our favorite feels But somehow I was sad 
Cause I knew that it would end And I'll go home All alone But I'd be watched And I'd be warned I couldn't go to bed Cause you were in my head And then there were two Me and the moon We're chasing one another Getting lost in another summer Never wanted it to end Now I'm losing all my friends I'm reminded of the pain When I'm on the interstate Me and the moon And we think of you Watch me as I fall into the sky I'm feeling tears But I didn't wanna cry even the bright stars burn out someday. Good morning. Um, slow start to this Saturday because last night I couldn't sleep and it, I could have spent my time reading, but instead I spent my time doom scrolling and <sighs> stayed up way too late. Uh, as well, like if I was on track for all my readathons and my reading plans for September, I would have finished the first book in here by now, but instead I'm only a hundred pages in and like I haven't even been organized enough to grab a bookmark so I'm just like remembering the page number and right now keeping my finger in it. It's not the best strategy. I am really liking this though. I will say there's kind of like this fantasy romance element that I'm not a fan of. I guess it's just a romance element. Like this witch woman, young girl woman. She had an abusive husband and so she doesn't really trust men and but she's like attracted to him but she doesn't know if she can trust him. This young magician is who I'm talking about. So this young magician has turned up and he knows that he shouldn't have sex with women because he'll lose his magical powers. I, I honestly I have my question about whether that's even true but uh, he keeps being like oh I can't control myself and I'm like what a dick. Um, <laughs> But he's probably fine, I guess, but it just, I roll my eyes every time a man says they can't control themselves because like, really, really you can't. Anyway, there's some kind of evil magician trying to take out the last dragons. There's one last breeding dragon queen, I guess, dragon queen, let's call her. Um, but the dragons also kind of have this deal with the royalty to protect this kingdom. And they have like magical borders that have been protecting them, but those borders are starting to break down now that they've only got one dragon left. There's also this wolf that the dragons are protecting. And I, I know who I think the wolf is, but I guess we'll see. I'm definitely still enjoying the world building and the way the magic works which I think we're going to learn a lot more about the dragons and how the magic works as this series goes on. I'm not sure how much we'll get through in this one book. I feel like since this is the first book in a trilogy that... Actually, I think it's a four book series when I looked on Goodreads, but maybe the main arc is the three books. Anyway, I feel like this first book is kind of going to end up in disaster to set up for the future books. So I guess we'll see. My goal for today is to try to finish this. Um, As well, other goals for today, I need to do some housework because my house is messy because I am terrible. As well, I want to dye my hair. My greys are starting to get terrible. And as well, I have some hair dye that says it might lighten it as well as make it a bit more purple burgundy. So we'll try it and see if I can get this lighter without destroying it. Oh, I do also still need to get my TBR up, but I'm very close. I just need to sort out thumbnails and stuff. So I should be able to do that today. I want to also edit my vlog from last week and I probably will film my wrap up tomorrow. So I've got a bit of booktube stuff to do this weekend. I don't need to do it all today, but I should get at least some of it done today. Uh, as well, later on, I want to go for like another sunset walk. It's a beautiful sunny day today, but I'll wait till a bit later because I think a lot of people will be out for walks. Um, I kind of wanted to make my goal for this weekend to get the next minion badge on Fitbit. So there's one that you get when you do 22,222 steps. Could I get that many steps today while also dyeing my hair and sitting around reading a lot? Probably not. I have kind of stopped the thing that I used to do where I walk around the house reading because I feel like, especially when it's a, a thicker book, it just makes my arm really sore and I've been having problems with my arm from too much computer use so I don't need to be making that worse. Oh, the other thing that I should talk about is The Republic of Thieves, the Liza Locke Mora book that I read. 
I'm reading, actually how far through am I? So I feel like we're only just really getting to the point of the book. There's a lot of kind of getting them into the situation where now they're basically going to have to try and manipulate this, what is the right word? Our uh, election. They've basically been employed to like manipulate this election so that certain people will win. No, don't start playing. This always makes like audible. All I want is a percentage. How far through am I? No, you don't want to tell me that. Super cool. I think I'm like halfway ish. Um, so we've met Sabatha in the grown up plot line as well now, and I love her. Um, I also think we're getting a little bit about what happened between Locke and Sabatha, and honestly, Locke is an idiot and Sabatha is a queen and I love her. I knew I would love her. And sometimes I'm annoyed at Locke for just like loving her for almost no reason. And then I think, but I love her, so why shouldn't he? Anyway, I am enjoying it, but I will say there are bits where they're talking about all the stuff about how they're gonna rig this election and I honestly don't care about that level of detail. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of fine because it's an audiobook. You can just kind of let it wash over you and try to pick up on the most important facts. So if I go out for a walk later, I should be able to read a significant amount of that too. I could also listen to it while I do some housework. So I'll see how far I can get through both of these today, but I want to try and make good progress. I feel like I, I dyed my hair and um, I feel like it looks like I murdered someone. I honestly, I tried to keep this tidy, but um, it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> if you set yourself on fire, I never let you burn. I would smoke you till my lungs hurt and love you till I'm dead. <sighs> Hello! Do you know, I was going to get rid of this couch, but since I rearranged my lounge, I pretty much spend my whole time sitting here, so I think I need some kind of seat here. This is a nice sunny spot in front of the bookshelf. Hmm. This is why I like experimenting and working out what works rather than committing straight up. Anyway, I was going to update you yesterday, but I ended up getting quite frustrated at the end of the day. I left it till quite late because my external drive wouldn't connect to my iPad, which was really annoying me. And then this morning it just worked. I don't even know why it wasn't working yesterday. <sighs> but that meant that it was even more annoying to put my thumbnail together because I had to put things together from scratch, even though I don't know that anything on my external drive would have even worked on my iPad. I discovered that iPad Photoshop is very different from desktop Photoshop and I was very frustrated <laughs> with it. And you know when you're just trying to get stuff done, like I don't mind learning new software, but when you're just trying to get stuff done, you just want it to work. And so I was very annoyed with it. But I do think in the end I figured out what I need to know, but I wasn't really happy with thumbnail for my TBR, but still I got my TBR up, so I'm starting to make progress again. Other things did also annoy me yesterday. So I dyed my hair and you can't even really tell, even though the hair dye I used, like it looked like, and it, it's all in the roots. My roots are coming through. And the, the hair dye did say that it was for dark hair and it had some lightening built in, but those are still just black. I've kind of accepted that either I need to bleach it or I just need to accept that it's gonna be a long journey of growing this black out. I haven't decided what I prefer. But I just dyed it so I won't do anything for another month or so. Um, also my fringe, I really want to grow this out as well. I hate it and it is not behaving. What else am I annoyed about? Oh yesterday I didn't manage to get my minion badge. I discovered I'm really out of practice at walking so I need to maybe build up to it. But as well, like I probably would have had time to do it if I hadn't spent so much time being annoyed about making my thumbnail. Anyway, let's stop talking about things that are annoying me. Let's talk about reading. So I'm like 200-ish pages through this. I've got like another 100 pages to go. I know it doesn't look like it, but I only have to get to this yellow post-it note. I'm a little bit frustrated. I really like the world and the magic and the dragons, but the characters I couldn't care less. There's the stupid romance that doesn't isn't built on anything, hasn't been given any foundation. And then I, I knew it would introduce the stupid love triangle, which is even more annoying. Um, although I expect 
I suspect it might go the polygamy way, which would be interesting at least, but we'll see. I might be disappointed there. I don't know, it's an interesting story, but the way it's written, again, I just don't feel engaged. It doesn't feel real. I don't know if it's just because it's an older book and this is the way things were written more back then, but like there's a lot of potential in the story. I just, oh, it's not engaging me, which is part of why it took me longer to read yesterday than it should have. I did actually spend a lot of time just sitting on the couch reading yesterday, which was nice, but I kept getting distracted by my phone because my phone was more interesting than this. Still, I'm going to try and finish this off today, and I would also like to read the first part of this. Whether that's achievable or not, I don't know, but that's what I would like to do. I also just want to get my shit sorted out. I've got some house tidying I really need to do, which I didn't. Oh, I did a little bit yesterday, but I really should do some more today. And I just, I want to have a nice solid foundation for the next week of work. I feel like I'm going to run out of time, but what I'm going to try and do today is the thing where you read a chapter and then you do one productive thing. So I'll do that, we'll see how it goes, and I'll let you know when I finish this. Okay, I've moved over to this couch. Ah, lockdown life. One couch, another couch, it's all the same. Um, but I'm following the sun, it's a bit sunnier over here. So it's freezing in the shade at the moment, nice in the sun. I'm not sure the lighting is my fan though. Anyway, I just finished this, the first part. Um, kind of just skimmed the end of it and I'm annoyed because I would have been able to get through this way quicker if I'd been really engaged but I was not. I felt like it was kind of just throwing all these random ideas in but not really fully developing any of them and like the love triangle bleh, so awful I hated it um as well the guys kept calling her like little one and just like really condescending and infantizing her and I ugh. The only like redeeming thing I would probably say is the bad guy. You do get little snippets of like what he's thinking and I really enjoyed how awful his thoughts were and like how it's kind of that classic cycle where he's just thinking everyone is idiots and every time something goes wrong he's like oh my god I can't believe these people are such fucking idiots even when it's clearly his own fault and he's just kind of like descending into that that awful mindset which like I feel like I know what that's like but also I wouldn't take it this far but it's kind of fun to read but yeah the actual good people I don't know I just didn't care about them I do think there was an interesting story in here I just don't think the way that it was written is what I wanted and I'm so disappointed because right at the beginning with the way the world was introduced I had high hopes for this and also I've got a whole trilogy here so like do I keep reading it I'm pretty sure the next book is gonna have a girl that's also a cat in it. I mean that sounds like something I would like, but if it's just gonna be ideas I like and writing I hate, I don't know. I'm bad at DNFing series and books. I guess I'll put it back on my TBR for now and we'll see if I get to it. Anyway that hasn't helped my motivation, but I'm gonna try and get back into finishing other things. I'm a bit afraid to start Child of Flame now because I, I'm looking at it over there, it's so big, but I'm just going to try and read the first part, which is only 150 pages or something. But I know that those pages are massive and the writing is also very dense, but that, mm, like I like that writing better than I liked this though. But I'm still afraid that because it's going to be hard to get through that I'm going to really struggle after having just struggled with this. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention is I have been listening to... The Republic of Thieves and I have been kind of just letting the details wash over me a little bit still but also one thing I do have to call out for this series is the humor and um, this book especially I'm really loving the humor in it there's just lines that make me laugh out loud like when I was walking around on my walk last night I laughed to myself several times I don't know what anyone who was watching me would have thought but anyway I have been having fun reading it I feel like I'm just putting off doing things, so I'm going to go and do things. Hello, so I just got home from a walk, and during that walk I finished The Republic of Thieves, and I really liked the ending of it. I thought it was so satisfying. Both the stuff that happened when they were kids, they basically, I don't think I really talked about it, but they end up putting on this play, and while they're putting on this play, all this shit kind of happens where they then have to improvise and come up with a solution. Then as well we had the election that they were trying to rig um in that ending I can't I can't say anything about it because it would be spoilers but it was very satisfying some nice twists and then the epilogue was really cool it really set things up 
for the next book. I feel really bad for people who read this when it first came out and have been waiting for that fourth book. And I'm really frustrated that the fourth book doesn't exist yet. I really hope that it isn't too far away because I don't want to wait for more Jean and Locke. And Sabatha, <sighs> we better get more Sabatha. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. Now though, um, I'm gonna spend tonight like reading. Probably I need to do a little bit of walking around my house because even though I went for a walk, I didn't really get quite enough steps today. I had this plan to get steps throughout the day, but then I kept doing work instead of getting steps, so it didn't work out. But I've got two things that I want to make progress on tonight. So firstly, I want to start The Last Wizard by Tanya Huff. Um, I read the first book, Child of the Grove, which is this first half of this. In August, it was strange, but the ending I really enjoyed. So I'm excited to see what will happen next. Part of why the first one was strange is that it took like till halfway through the book where we started following the actual main character and the first half was all kind of just set up. Um, but I'm hoping the second book won't do that because we should already have our main character there and ready. Basically we're following this girl where a whole bunch of these elder races manipulated things so that she would exist and be able to fight off this great evil. But who really knows what's going to happen next? I guess I will read it and find out. I want to try and finish this by tomorrow because to be like on track for all the books I wanted to read in this month, I needed to read these ones in the first week and the first week of September ends tomorrow. I don't know, can I read 150 pages of this tonight? I probably could, but the other thing that I also want to read is the first part of this. Now the first part of this is only 145 pages, however, last night I think I read it for an hour and I read it 33 pages. So this book basically takes me two minutes a page. Uh, the pages are just big, you know? It takes me time to get through this. I'm not a super fast reader. Um, and even that said, like I had talked about this being really dense writing that was hard to get through, but the first few chapters that I read, I really liked them. There was a little prologue with some characters from previous and then there was a new character and she's really interesting because she's like one of this chosen group that's like trying to manipulate the future and they use these stones to travel around. And I don't fully understand everything about her yet, but she's also very lonely and she's trying to find herself a husband. I don't know why you'd want one of those, but that's what she's trying to do. Yeah, and I kind of just want to read this tonight. However, since I want to walk around my house and read a bit, this is not going to happen. <laughs> if I walk around with this, I will break my arms. So I'm going to read some of this until I feel like I've got enough steps and then maybe I'll go to bed and read this, unless I get really into this, in which case this might have to wait. But I don't know that I can read all of this and the first part of this by tomorrow. It seems ambitious, but I guess all I can do is try. Hello, so I guess since I'm filming a video, I should also film an update for this vlog. I thought tonight after work, I would have heaps of time for reading and then right at the end of the day, one of my teams discovered an issue with something we released last night and we had to do another emergency release. And while I don't have actually have to fix things, I did still end up having to do more stuff when I thought I would actually be finishing. Another one of my teams was also having an issue. Anyway, today work kind of got a little bit out of hand and I finished a bit late. However, I have managed to read a little bit after work while I got the motivation up to film. And as well, I did read a bit last night, although not, I don't even have the books here. I'm a terrible vlogger. Um, I didn't read any of Child of Flame, even though I want to. I think I'm running short of time, so I might have to just put that aside for this week and focus on finishing off oh, The Last Wizard. So, how far am I? I've read probably 90 pages. I've still got nearly 200 pages to go. That's a lot um, to read today and tomorrow given the amount of time I've got left and that I also want to put the video I just filmed together. I don't think time is my friend. Maybe tomorrow at work I'll be able to finish a bit early to make up for the fact that I work late tonight. I don't know. I'll try and finish this by tomorrow. I should have finished it by today. Whatever. Anyway, I am really enjoying The Last Wizard. I still love the writing style's a little bit funny, but what I am loving is death is a character. So in the first book in this duology, Death was a character and he would just turn up every now and then and say something interesting and it was more like just an interesting little aspect of the book but it wasn't really a focus. In this second book, Death is a main character in the story. 
And in fact, there's three men who are kind of interested in our wizard girl and our main character, this wizard, and death is one of them. There's also these two brothers. And while I generally roll my eyes when there's a girl who has like all these men in love with her, in this particular story I think it makes sense and it, I think it's dealt with quite well and quite realistically. The other thing is that our main wizard girl was actually made up of these seven different goddesses and now these goddesses are kind of, some of them at least, are trying to gain their freedom which would cause her to not be her anymore so she's trying to hold herself together and that's really interesting as well so I'm really enjoying the concept of this I would say the writing isn't always my favorite it sometimes feels a little bit like it's just brushing over things which is kind of how I felt in the first book as well but it's not to the same degree as it was in the first book so I, I'm still quite enjoying it and I'm interested to see where we're gonna go we also randomly have a demon hanging out with us at the moment it's definitely interesting. So I'm going to try and finish as much of this as I can tonight, I guess. Hey, look at me. I am outside the house. Amazing. Feels like a really long time. I am in fact in town because I'm going to be getting my second vaccine, which is exciting. Um, it's quite close together because they were initially doing three weeks and I thought about postponing it, but honestly, it doesn't make that much difference and I'd rather just get it done. Um, I am a little bit early because as always, I'm paranoid about driving when I haven't driven my car for ages, but um, I'm going to try and read a little bit of this before I go in. Um, I've got like 80 pages to go, so I'm getting really close. It's such a weird book because in some ways I'm really loving it. However, in other ways, I just don't really like the writing style, but I love the characters, like this relationship that's going on between Crystal and Death is kind of everything I love and there's some really amazing lines actually like I say I don't like the writing but there are some lines that really are great so I don't know um I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this by the end I'm really hoping the end does some really cool stuff but I, I, it's quite slow paced like most of this book they've just been traveling to this wizard tower and we don't know what's gonna happen when we get there but we're taking our time getting there Hello. So it is most definitely bedtime. I'm just staying up to see my teams are going to do a release in like five minutes. It's the one we've been kind of like having problems with. So I want to see that go well and then I'll go to sleep. Uh, I did just finish this. Oh, I kind of skimmed through bits, but the ending was quite disappointing. I feel like I was really interested in Lord Death and in the goddesses but the story was mostly about crystal and her friendship and her relationship with these two guys that i didn't really care about i mean they were fine but they were kind of boring and they were kind of just all these like little obstacles that we were overcoming throughout the whole story it just seemed like endless and pointless and i didn't care and it's so frustrating because there were so many cool ideas in this story it could have been really amazing but it it was a different story than what I wanted. It it wasn't exploring any of the ideas that I was interested in in this. So, such a shame. In the first book in this bind up, the ending kind of saved it for me, even though some of the rest of it wasn't what I wanted. But in this one, oh, there were a couple of bits that I really loved, but overall I just can't, can't say I liked it. That's so disappointing. Anyway, that does mean that I have finished all the books that I wanted to read this week. It's already Thursday, so I think I'm like a day behind. Oh, and I never read Child of Flame, so I'm like very far behind. But still, um, I finished two books for Bacopoli. Wait, where's my notes? Right, I finished two books for Bacopoli. One was the history one. I counted Glass Dragon for that um, because it was set in historical times kind of a fantastical version and then this one was a book I read for the randomized square and then as well the glass dragon was my book with a map for the magical readathon so I've made some progress I'm definitely behind on my reading plans for the month but I do think it's still possible for me to catch up anyway I'm going to finish this vlog up here because it is longer than it should be probably do let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about in this vlog or if you would be interested in reading them because I would love to talk with you about them down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.